we bring you a presentation at Duxbury's Unitarian Universalist Church from their Open Mind Speaker Series. That's right, Julie. The First Parish Church in Duxbury has always had thoughtful and educational programs offered to the public. Recently, PCN Life stopped into their Open Mind Speaker Series with Greater Boston PFLAG, a nonprofit group committed to helping change attitudes and create an environment of understanding for the LGBT community. It was a thought-provoking and powerful evening. <laughs> Surround yourself with loving people, and they're, they're coming in all different forms, shapes, and sizes. The Open Mind Speaker Series um, here at First Parish Church um, has the goal of bringing diverse and stimulating speakers who have something to say about social justice issues to our church and to our broader community. So for uh, Greater Boston PFLAG, what we do is uh, we start off by explaining who we are and what we do. That in addition to educating, we have different support systems, both for, uh, for kids and their parents, going into school systems, educating there. So it's basically trying to create the, the largest web of support that we possibly can for LGBT youth and as we grow older. That's, that is one of the things that a lot of people find confusing, that one thing in, uh, in Western culture, we tend to have the, the just male and female, that uh, historically and even currently, there are some cultures that have additional genders. Uh, we would like people to come away uh, better informed than they are previously, that generally the people I meet who are against trans issues, generally they've only heard like frightening things of the bathroom, like the way that it gets phrased, the bathroom bill, the idea that there's going to be a man going into the ladies room. Whereas what I want people to walk away with is the, the knowledge that a trans woman is not a man, a trans woman is a woman. A trans woman is a woman who has approached her gender in a different way than a cisgender or some people would say a regular lady has approached her gender, but is still the person that she is. In Navajo, the term is nedle, literally the one is changing in the sense of undergoing constant transformation. We really hope that we will bring thought-provoking ideas to people, and we think these ideas will be of interest to people throughout the South Shore. I did not know that trans men existed until I was 20. A, a guest speaker came into my college, and that was the moment I, one, realized that I wasn't insane, and two, that was the moment I realized that I could grow up and be a person. And I thought, Oh, thank God, I'm not crazy. Because regardless of all of the terrifying things he was telling us, all I heard was, you don't have to die. I heard the story here, either you choose death or you choose life. That's where I was at with it. I embrace and welcome everyone with my true self, growing every day in confidence, love, and kindness. So I challenge you all to please be your authentic selves. It's not easy but it is worth it in the end. I promise you that. Thank you.